If you got the COVID-19 vaccine, it's possible you haven't found a use for this card just yet. That's until now. If you're headed here to the Marble Bar, you will either need this card, a copy of it, along with your state ID or a negative COVID test in order to get in. So we asked the staff also, we said, Would that, how, what do you guys think about that? Would it make you feel more comfortable? And they all said yes. A unanimous yes from Detroit's Marble Bar management and staff. Part owner Raphael Blake says hearing about vaccinated individuals testing positive for COVID and what he describes as the resilience of the Delta variant led the bar to post this new requirement on its Facebook page and Instagram, announcing patrons must present proof they've been vaccinated in order to enter the building or proof they've had a negative COVID test in the past 48 hours. And while vaccinated people aren't getting overwhelmingly ill, from the Delta variant, they're not ending up in the hospital. We didn't want to subject our staff and patrons to the possibility of getting sick and missing work. Blake says when the state removed all restrictions this summer, the bar returned to operating the way it did in 2019, while still depending on non-vaccinated people to mask up. But with dancing and the social nature of the club scene, management is drawing the line. I think personally it'll give people just a little bit more like reassurance and like comfort. It's their personal property, right? So I think they have the right to decide whatever they want to do. If people don't want to agree with it, go somewhere else. I think that it's within the rights of uh, any business owner to do that. Overwhelming support on social media as well. And of course, opposition. One commenter saying, quote, ha ha, I'm good. Take my business elsewhere. Let all the fear ridden people have fun in their own little space. Sheep emoji. And, ew, not supporting this business, good luck, end quote. While he says he's not aware of any other business in Metro Detroit doing the same, Blake says clubs in Chicago, San Francisco, New York, and L.A., and the entire country of France took the lead, requiring a COVID pass. This isn't um, some fascist regime. We're an independent business that is worried about the safety of our staff and our patrons first and foremost. And again, if people aren't comfortable with sharing their private information, we're not forcing them to come. The new requirement takes effect this Friday. In Detroit, Darren Cunningham, 7 Action News.